This time on Weekend Rental, we play Moon Hunters, a unique narrative action RPG with cooperative elements. Up next, let's watch some gameplay before we get to our reviews. We want our name to be Daikon. <laughs> <laughs> like the radish. I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody has to acknowledge. Yeah, we're in this together, I guess. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay. Right on. Oh, action. I would like to know what the buttons do. <laughs> <laughs> well, X seems to be attack. I got that much. A just puts the exclamation bad. point above my head for no reason. He's a dash. Oh, okay. uh -uh. Oh, I thought there would cool. be like a, you know, controller tutorial. Someone there? <laughs> oh, I could like... I got it. Yeah. All right, we got a little... Oh, what's that? How'd you do that? Oh. Like the start button? Uh, the wolf is a lot stronger than our throwing thieves that people move. <laughs> but that's got good range and coverage, yeah, I guess. Weird. Okay, 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 okay. Seems okay. like, okay, we don't want to pause. What was that, a trigger? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay, so entangle. The green cubic hair covers the ground. Is the, oh, I guess, there's okay, the green, the green is magic gauge. Yes. Yes. I shoot witchy blood out of. Oh, I can. Somewhere. You shoot blood at people? I shoot blood. Whoa. <laughs> that reminds me of crawl. Very evil. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. That's very, very huh? evil. We do have a mini map. <laughs> I'm so that cactus up, man. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to cook? I want to cook too. I want to oh. stargaze. I guess I'll hunt. The witch will oh, it's kind of like uh, uh -oh. okay, there's the uh, trail or something. You guys <laughs> want some cactus water? <laughs> yeah, can you get some, uh, some cactus rice, and some tequila, and <laughs> some rice at the bottom. It's a new recipe. Uh, oh god, what happened? Water and wasted. cactus combined. It's pretty cactus oh, tea. Cactus tea. We get faith. Oh. Okay. Gotta have faith. Uh oh. <laughs> Momo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sleepy boy. Sleepy Momo. Well, I want to ask the other tribes. Okay. But you, I mean, you don't have to vote with me. I sun guess cult. that's. Yeah, it's definitely the Sun Cult's fault. That's what democracy's all about. That dude looks like a Sun flash. Cult. Yeah, I'm smart, y'all. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. it. That's Outside. Say anything. Stupid. Guess it wants to die. Oh god. Ride. Uh, this might be. We might be under level. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Maybe there's on. just some way tougher baddies in here. These are bad boons. Lions. Is that what you called them? Bad boons. Bad boons. Bad boons. Bad boons. <laughs> With the bad brains. Yeah. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Stun them with the leaves. It does just stun this. lock we got them. This. So that's good. We got this. We yeah. got this. Yeah. The regular yeah. attacks. Like, uh, yeah. Entrapment in D and D. Oh, there's a cave. Cave. Um, we gotta go in the cave. Yeah. Here. We got a big mob in here. We gotta bleed on him. The dead thing. Uh -huh. Alright, we could leave, but I want to I want to finish it out. Should be just doing. a few more sections. Is there a big map option, like on the D-pad or something? Uh, there's some taunts. I can dance on my D-pad. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> cool, the dances are cool. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty neat. <laughs> Two different um, oh, there it went. Uh, You can just make it go away. That's all yeah. you can do. <laughs> Alright, Ed, what do you think? You stand before a giant golden throne on which giant giant keep bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep bird. Should we kneel before the giant unholy sun bird? Nah. You want to defy the... Defy. Yeah, I, thought right. we're, I thought we were trying to fight the Sun Cult or something. 
Oh, the bird gobbles oh. obscenely. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Chicken world. <laughs> uh, the tea feathers. We lose two spirit. We're yeah. nice some Al Aridia. It's nice. Yeah, some let's honey. go. To, let's get some honey. Yeah. Says there's honey. I think it's. We got three days to live. Let's get some honey. Oh, this looks suspiciously much. like a dry desert. Oh, there's <laughs> no, a bunch no, of no, no. snake oh, cobras. Got to fight the Q-Bones and the Wombats. <laughs> Q-Bats. There's no one announced this music here. Yeah, me too. Yes. It's very trippy. Oh. Okay. All right. Very desert world thing going on here. Taking all the money. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> if they wanted it, they'd take it. I'm obsessed with money. <laughs> that relieves in a narrower, longer arc. That relieves harder doing more damage. I think that's uh... my inform. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna buy all this. Damn, poison ivy. Yo, oh, these are all good choices. What do you think, Travis? I'm gonna be a penetrator. One fit. We should go for one of the one fifties, right? Oh, obviously. Uh, throw leaves harder. That's. Oh, maybe lion. Oh, come, oh, come on! You gotta do poison ivy. Oh, yeah. Oh man. Oh, you give them five star. <laughs> what happens when we take a week off? Five, five, yelly face. Good music. Uh, Ryan, they're playing a song now. Yeah, it's acoustic guitar. <laughs> Nice. A little bit of wispy vocalizing. Something in the bass. Who needs help? I need a heart. It's dawn of the oh, final shit. day. <laughs> Stuck on a pillar. <laughs> Damn it. It's just the final of, day. Immovable bug. You guys are both trying to kill that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not killable. <laughs> it's pushing me around. <laughs> and hey, it's it. <laughs> I love wow, this is the guy. There's best best bets. He's wild. Bad. The other guy was just a messenger. Let's see. Yeah, he's a cultist gone bad. We have to unlock him. Oh god. Break his shins. I gotta not lose. He's in a mech. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a titan. He's a titan. Break those legs. He's got an AoE attack on his feet, so. I died, I died, I died. Oh, you died, you oh, died. Your body. Bro? Help me out. Yeah. Thank you. Mega Man, there's a heart in the lava. I don't know if you want to get that. Oh, I will try. Yeah. Oh, fuck, wow, where am I? What a shit. Your blood laser. Yeah, blood laser time. Blood laser. Oh, God. You just pick somebody to religion, I guess. Ooh. Great. 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 So you get into the Hall of Fame. Oh. Wow. Alrighty. We just finished our one and a quarter playthroughs of Moon Hunters and are ready to get to reviews. So first off, we're going to have Momo. Hello. Yes, Moon Hunters. I guess I'll first start with what I like. And I like I like the combat. It felt really good to move around. Everything felt great. Um the music is is cool and how it changes depending on uh what's going on is is nice. Um but 
I also have some real problems with this game. Everyone confirming for every little every little NPC interaction is totally ridiculous. Um, like when it makes sense, team choices are cool, but when it doesn't, it just gets annoying. And it's like you, you just have to constantly pay attention to it. You know, when you play like a game with four people, you don't want to have everybody be being paying attention like every second. It's just like annoying. Um, the source material that this game references, like point and click adventure and board games and classic RPGs, like I like all that stuff. But for me, I think this game like fails where those things kind of shine. And I'm going to have to say avoid, unfortunately. But let's see what um, Mega Man Man has to say about this. Thanks, Momo. Uh, unfortunately for you, I, I gave this game a buy. I think it's, it's pretty neat. Uh, it does have a lot to give. It's got a lot to explore. The maps, I think... Uh, maybe I caught a trend where they were getting slightly bigger as at least the days progressed, so there's a little bit more to explore there. Uh, fun little cast of characters to pick from. Classes color changing. You don't see that often these days. Uh, slight upgrades to your kind of abilities and weapons that you get. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty fun time. I do like the aesthetics. Uh, some some bitly styles always get me. I guess the music was good. I don't know. <laughs> I had some problems. Uh, but I'm going to have to take your guys' word for it. I gave it a one anyways for the silence that I listened to. Silence isn't that exciting. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, I, I think it's totally worth buying. It's totally worth playing with friends. It's totally worth uh, sinking into uh, and seeing seeing where the rest of this goes, uh, Neo Sense, how how do you feel about this game? Thank you for asking, Mega Man Man. I actually love this game. I I thought it was really cool. This is a buy for me. Uh, I like how the so it it does several things. As Momo mentioned, um, there is like a sort of CRPG bend to its storytelling it's a roguelike game where you sort of emergently discover uh the 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 world building inside of it and the moment to moment gameplay is this kind of arcadey shooter beat em up kind of thing my my big bent is like the graphics in the immediate gameplay are sort of bland uh, they're representative and the enemies are sort of boring, whatever. There was a boss, like a, you know, we finished the first crew run through the final boss. It looked kind of stupid. Um, but I like what it's doing and I like this <clears throat> type of game a lot. I like you do a playthrough and it takes 45 minutes and then you do another playthrough and there's more things and more things and more things. And you're just kind of there trying to mine more and more things out of it. Uh, it could do one or two things better. I like how mysterious it is. I like the reveal. But I think it could have done certain things better. But really what I'd like to know is what you think about it, Daimon Top. Well, thanks for asking. Uh, I, I also quite enjoyed this game. I thought it was really good. Um, I love that throughout the course of one weekend rental session, it felt like we were told a, a whole story. Um, and without it being shoved down our throats too much, uh, I don't know, I, I, I felt curious enough to want to go back and maybe do a little bit more detailed uh, view of the game just on my own time, which isn't always how I feel even when I do like something on a weekend rental. Uh, I, I liked the way the game looked. I, th I thought that the art style was pretty cool. I liked the way that there were, um, there were times where, depending on what you were working on as a character, certain NPCs would react to you differently. Uh, certainly didn't love the whole 
everybody confirm that we should go look at water or something like that. But uh, I don't know. The, I, w- I was I was able to look past it pretty easily. I'd say go ahead and buy it. And uh, as always, I'm very curious to hear what Filter has to say about all this stuff. Thanks, I'm on time. Um, yeah, so I, I gave this one a rent again. It's not a 100% buy, but I want to see what more it's got there. Um, like I already mentioned, we did see a full story, but then, you know, in our first playthrough, we saw a lot of repeti- re- repetitive uh, environments and enemies, and, you know, as the world opened up, it seemed like there's more locales, there's more enemies to uh, engage with, and it became a richer game. Um, so I think that's what what the hook is to pull you back in. Um, I think this won't land well with everybody uh, just because of like the combat being very at, like arcadey action. And then it's got this like slower paced narrative decision-making thing going on that, that ends up being a little off kilter in terms of pacing. Um, but it's, it's an interesting mix. It's weird. It's definitely unique in what it's putting down and you can kind of see it visually as well. Like you see the illustrations for the characters. They look great, uh, very watercolory. And then the actual in-game graphics are like this pixel retro thing. And I don't know, it doesn't quite mesh for me. Um, but I don't know what other graphic style I would want them to do. Um... For controls, um, you know, I think all the controls they give you are apparent and it's easy to come to grips with it, but you don't really have um, necessarily the liberty to be creative with how you do combat or um, like we, we experience, you can't see the full map. There's a little bit that's not there, I think because it's trying to keep that narrative part going. Um, I love I love the concept. I kind of wish it wasn't an arcade action beat 'em up though, and it kept the rest of the framework and did something more turn-based strategy RPG where you all move your characters across a board and just kind of stuck more with the turn-based narrative thing because I think it is a really cool concept to iteratively go through different uh, stories from different angles and explore how all this unpacks so i'd rent it again uh, definitely play it with some friends check it out see what you think see what stories come out and um, give it a chance and you know it's it's often on sale for less than five dollars so at that point you might as well just buy it um, if, if you're curious at all 